back a little bit and increase the power. I'm hoping that at least the capacitor are not charged and let's try them out. Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without that. The skin here is quite sensitive to temperature and you can tell the temperature quite accurate. It's almost finished now. Just need another piece of wire. Oh sh! What did I do? I'm fine, thanks! What? I can't even play music from it. Although this power supply can generate huge amounts of current, it can't send it through my body because it's only set to 20 volts. I can't even feel it on my finger. I like to put it on my tongue, but before that, I have to reduce the voltage to something like 1 volt because, you know, the resistance of the tongue is much smaller than the skin. And still, if I short the power supply, I get the same 150 amps. Okay, you can see it still sparks. Let's try it out. What the f***? I thought I set it to 1 volt. Here's the power supply at 4 volts and I'm going to connect this thin wire to it and you can see how the wire melts and burns under mm, Makes you want to join the dot side <laughs> Get it? It's a line from Star Trek Okay, now let's Always be aware of your surroundings The tip of the gun here simulates a human being Always be careful with your tools. Because now the board is charged to the same level as the gun and it doesn't jump anymore. But right now I'm touching the wires and I can't even feel it because the voltage is not high enough. No, I'm not Steve. Wrong number. It's a simple device. It's a belt that you tie around your belly with a tiny device that senses your motion. As long as you move, you're okay. But if you stop for any reason, it'll zap you like a mother. You will move no matter what, or else you will feel the pain. The device may often fall trigger. The belt is very hard to open. It's made of very durable material resistance to sharp objects and it cannot be cut. Oh. So you will run until the batteries die or you die. Just kidding, we have never had failed batteries. The device is very simple. 
It runs on two AA or AAA batteries and has two electrodes on the bottom and turns on with a switch. Now if you don't move, it says Unless I do it with my finger. With this revolutionary device, with the click of a switch, you're ready to But the first thing to remember is that there are a lot of bits and pieces and small and large screws that go on the camera. So always remember what those were and store them nicely for avoid using them. Now let's take a look at the camera. And you can see the lens here, and if I remove the lens, you'll see the giant flash capacitor right here. <laughs> Ow! F***ing piece of sh